Ah, that sounds nice. But do we have a Furin Wind Bell up? tried to keep it safe, but... Osawa, Shizuoka City. 23 tea leaf farming households live side by side. The Ngawa verandas seen here are attracting quite a bit of attention lately. Natsumi Naruse describes herself as an Ngawa-loving girl. She travels across the nation, looking at Ngawa verandas, an act she calls Ngawa bathing. I've come to see the Ngawa cafe here. Hello. This is what she has come for. How is it? Delicious. Good. Facing south, this Ngawa's ample width of 1.5 meters is owed to the fact that it is also used for farming work. Twice a month, the village works as a whole to open the veranda to the public and serves tea to those who visit. Delicious. Yeah? He is complemented with dishes made with crops harvested locally. The Ngawa serves an important role in the nurturing of such ingredients. Ngawa is great to dry tea leaves on because it has these grooves. What is under the flooring? Mm, it's chilly. boxes of seed potatoes. As it is cool in summer and warm during winter, this space serves as an ideal storage. And the Ngawa veranda is the living room under the blue sky. There aren't a lot of people around, usually. It's great to meet so many people like this. The Angawa is a great place to interact with others because it's such a casual space. The Angawa is neither indoors nor outdoors. Let's explore the beauty therein that never ceases to capture the Japanese soul. Situated in a chic Tokyo residential area is a mansion that was built in 1919. Entrepreneur Yoshisaburo Fujita had it built. He was known for his love of constructing buildings. Facing the spacious yard, lush with greenery, is a magnificent Ngawa. It comprises wooden flooring and tatami mats. Guests would walk on the tatami and the residents on the wooden flooring. Hard hemlock wood with its conspicuous growth rings used for the flooring has a tasteful appeal. The entire ceiling is laid with Japanese cedar. 
the wavy grain patterns of the wood are deftly positioned to create a magnificent design. It's so bright in here. Only a mansion of this scale could offer an Ngawa like this one. It leaves me in awe. I can just feel the fusion of nature and the Ngawa with my five senses. Seasonal expressions come pouring onto the Ngawa. The first mark of beauty is paradise felt with the five senses. The first floor offers an otherworldly sight. Through the glass, the yard looks distorted. Glass in early times didn't have a flat surface. The rays come through the uneven glass and make an unstable pattern. When I just look at my hands like this, it feels like I'm in water. It's a dreamy world on an old Ngawa, brought out by ancient glass. Beside the Ngawa is a wash basin. The water acts as a mirror to display the sky beyond the trees. Try to rinse your hands and... I can't reach it. There must be something to it. Mm. I feel like I'm looking at a painting. And there's more. The water is reflected on the eaves. It is beautiful. The Ngawa is a space brimming with the wisdom of the Japanese people. It's not just flooring, it's almost like an organism. This is the old district of Tokyo. This is a place for the common folk. The breeze that passes through here is refreshing. It would be great to sit here after a bath. This is a space of luxury by the yard. And it is the Ngawa of a Sento bathhouse built in 1938. The Ngawa here is full of features to be enjoyed after one takes a bath. I feel liberated here. 
Niangawa can soothe the soul and mind. I'm so glad. Huh? What? Oh. You're adorable. <laughs> Kyoto, the ancient capital. Brims with culture. This shop has been here for hundreds of years. Its shelves are crammed with rare ancient books. The books at the storefront are placed atop this shelf like Ngawa. We call it the rising shop. It can be raised and lowered manually. This engawa is kept folded while the shop is closed. It is lowered only when the shop is open. This folding screen depicts Kyoto at around the 16th century. A rising shop is seen in the picture. This is an architectural style that emerged from Kyoto's long history as a city of commerce. Back when there was no electricity, it was dark inside shops, and it wasn't possible to read or to look at pictures. The Ngawa was a place for people to browse books of interest. Now, the Ngawa functions as an outdoor shelf. Sasaki spends half an hour each morning to set up a thousand books for display. This task gets harder as I age, but there's something about it that draws people inside the shop. I can't do without it. As always, the Ngawa gathered many people on this day. On a day like today, I feel rewarded for doing all this. After the shop closes, the Ngawa shows a transformation. Wooden shutters are unfolded from above. Sometimes, the Ngawa acts as a part of shutters. Today's second market beauty is Ideas for Transformation. Toyama City by the Tateyama Peaks finds itself deep in snow during winter. This house, 